I got a fish. Oh. I got a fish. Yes. Wait a minute. First fish, fish in Gainesville. Jay's got a crappie. Yes. <laughs> That's a black crappie, yeah. Oh man, my first crappie, you guys. First fish of the trip so far. Damn, look at that slab, son. Look at that slab. See? Look at that, you guys. About what, like two minutes on the middle and I already got a hit? Yeah. Nice. Good job, man. All right, guys. So this was my first crappie. Now we are going to do a catch and cook on this because I heard they are okay. delicious. So we're going to keep fishing. We're going to catch some more fish, but look forward to a future episode of Catch and Cook with my buddies here on crappie. We are back with the crappie. Now we had a fantastic day. Me, Julian, and Mikey, we had a really good day out on the water. I caught these. These are my first ever caught crappies, and they're going to be my first ever eaten crappies. I've never tried them before. I heard they're fantastic. So we're going to cut them up, fillet them up, prepare them, season them, all that good stuff. And we're going to go and cook them and try them for the first time. So let's get started. You guys, you excited? Still alive. Yeah, I'm so excited. Uh. All right, guys, here we go. Here is the prepared, cut, and filleted crappie, ready to be cooked. How are we gonna cook this? Over a fire, some kind of... We could do it over the fire if I can find a grill and something to set the pan on. All right, we'll get back to you on how we're gonna cook it, but the fillets look great, they smell great. I'm pretty excited, they're translucent white. They, they really look like they're gonna be flaky and delicious, so let's get to it. So we're on to the next step. We're gonna do something a little different. The way we're gonna do it is we're gonna put the fillet pieces into their little tinfoil home, cover them with butter, garlic, and some Everglades seasoning, and they're going to bake up real nice on that flame, and hopefully they're nice and flaky and white when they're done, and we're gonna try them. So let's hurry up and get this step done and get the fire made and get started now. Fish on, seasoning on. My hands are clean, I promise. We're gonna put some butter. That's a, that's a lot of butter, bro. You want it to sizzle in something. That I mean, butter's gonna help it sizzle. That is true. Let's give a hefty piece. Let's give, yeah. let's give a hefty piece. Not is gonna just cook dry, you know? You're gonna dry out the meat. That butter's gonna melt, and it's basically gonna become like an oil. Now, I love garlic, so this is my favorite part right here. How does that look to you guys? Oh yeah! Look some fuego, bro. Look some fuego right there. Well, All right. I've seen some like Cajun seasoning Ooh, or something. You got lime. All right. So now that everything is smothered in our ingredients, we're going to wrap it up. Wrap this up real nice in our tin foil. Make it a little home, a little tent here. 
and this is what will sit on our fire and cook up real nice. So let's move to the fire portion of this catch and cook. All right guys, we forgot one thing. We're gonna put one last ingredient and that is lemon slices, just for that extra flavor. Look how beautiful that looks. That looks incredible and it's not even cooked yet. I'm so excited. All right guys, so we are in the progress of creating our fire. It's a little small right now, but it'll be bigger in a second. And then we're going to go ahead and put our fish on. Which of those like circular ones? It rained a bit. Yeah, they're a little damp, but not, not that much. All right guys, our fire is perfect, ready to go. We're gonna place our little tin foil on it. And how long do you think it's gonna take? Five, seven minutes? Five, yeah, no more than yeah. seven minutes. All right. too long. Perfect, here we go. Like dead, so, uh, dead center? This side. I put it like just on the side. side. Like on right the side here? Of the fire. No, yeah. but like lean against it though, no, right? Like, yeah, it doesn't have to really be. It's, about, about it's just the heat that's cooking it. What about like here? Because there's no like flame sitting right there. Yeah, that's fine. Boom, looks good. There you go. There's our it's fish. On the plate, guys. It looks good. Crappie catch and cook. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been on here for about three, four minutes. We we think it's ready. We're not sure. We flipped it, so we're gonna flip it back over and kind of open it. Ooh, you heard that? Woo. The sizzle effect. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Look at that. That looks delicious. That looks so good. These things are finished. We are ready to take them off of the grill and try them. They look great. They smell incredible. The light seasoning, the garlic, the butter, it really, it really did the job. Here we go, guys. Here's the finished product right there. It smells so freaking good. You guys ready to try this? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's try this. Dig First in, ever. boys. That Hold looks on. delicious. So Julian, Julian just tried it. We're going to get Julian's first thoughts and opinions. It's not bad. Not bad? It's not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah. Seasoning helps? The seasoning is good. Has yeah, a texture. Good. Texture's a little soft. Okay. You know, it's not like super flaky. It's a little soft, but it's good. It's good. I got I to gotta, I gotta get a few more bites, like to get a full... <laughs> You know, break down on it. All right, guys, it's my turn to try the crappy. Now, I'm gonna take a substantial piece. Look at this piece right here. That is a nice sized piece of crappie. Butter, garlic, seasoning, that is it over an open flame out in the middle of the woods. Here we go. Three, two. Mmm. Kind of has like a smoky. Right. It gets. It has that smoky taste to it. Mike, smoky you gotta taste. dig in, bro. You gotta try it. Very flaky. Very flavorful. Cooking it over an open flame does give it a nice smoky flavor. It is amazing. All the hype about crappy. It's true. It's so good. All right, guys. We are finishing up the catch and cook on the crappy. It was delicious. I give it like an eight, nine out of ten. Two thumbs up. If you guys have a chance to try it. Highly suggest it. It is incredible. If you guys enjoy this catch and cooks, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below of what you want to see next. Freshwater, saltwater, something that I have not tried before. Leave it in the comments below and I may pick your comment for the next episode of Catch and Cook. I want to thank my buddies Julian from Bite the Bait Fishing and Mikey Moser from Sawgrass Bassin for joining me today. I caught my first crappie. I ate my first crappie and it was incredible. Go check them out. Links in the description. Subscribe, comment, tell them I sent you. Show some love. Subscribe. If you guys enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy the content that I create for you. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we will see you later.